Hi everyone, myself Supriya Konda working as an assistant professor in civil department from Walton Institute of Technology, Sulapur. So today's class we are going to discuss on the calculation of the included angles from the bearings. So these are the learning outcomes. At the end of this session students will be able to impart the knowledge of the impart the knowledge of how to calculate the included angle of the bearings. So bearing is nothing but the direction of the survey line with reference to the reference point. So it can also be uh, given as the horizontal angle which is which uh, the survey line makes with the reference point. So the bearings there are two types that is the whole circle bearing and the quadrantal bearing. So whole circle bearing it completes an angle of 0 to 360 degrees and the angles are always measured in the clockwise direction. Whereas in the and uh, quadrantal bearing we have the bearings which are measured in the uh, in the with respect to north and the south direction. So that are called as the quadrantal bearing. So just uh, I will uh, tell you how the traverse has to be drawn using the bearings over here. So let us see. So these are the bearings given. So here you can see these are the line that is the survey lines given as a uh, AB, BC, CD and DE. So these are the four bearing FB is the four bearing and BB is the back bearing. The four bearing that is the bearings which are measured in the forward direction they are called as the four bearing whereas the back bearing the bearings which are measured in the backward direction they are called as the back bearing. So now uh, let us decide how many stations are there. So from the line if you consider AB that is A station, BC, B station, CD that is C station and DA it is D station. So overall if you see stations in all they are 4 numbers. Yes. So next you have the bearing over here. The four bearing that is the from the station A if you measure the four bearing is 122 degrees 15 minutes. So as uh, I have uh, already explained in the previous video the readings they are always measured in the clockwise fashion with respect to north. North, south, east and west. So this is the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third one and the fourth one. So let us say the bearings, the angles uh, in each quadrant it will be 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees and the last one is 360 degrees. So let us say the bearing that is the four bearing from A you are going to the B station with a fold bearing of 122 degrees 15 minutes. So it comes in the second quadrant. So let us see. So let us uh, decide where to take the first point that is A. So I have decided the first station it will be established over here. So north, south, east and west. So if you see from the A you have the four bearing as 122 degrees 15 minutes where you have the next point that is B. Okay, so this is 122 degrees 15 minutes when you get the B point. This is the B point north, south east and west. So next A. This is the four bearing of the station A. So when you see the back bearing of the station this is the back bearing that is 15 degrees 30 minutes which will be in the first quadrant. So D point you will be getting D point over here. This is the D point. So now the four bearing, the back bearing. This is the four bearing. 
and this is the back bearing this much is the angle it should be measured in the clockwise direction so it is 15 degrees 30 minutes whereas from the b if you see the four bearing you want to reach to the point c so it is 66 degrees it comes in the first quadrant so let's see the first quadrant So from the B, this is the four bearing that is 66 degrees. So this is the four bearing and back bearing of B, this one, 302 degrees 15 minutes. Yes, we are right as it is 302 degrees that is it should be in the fourth quadrant. So 302 degrees 15 minutes. So it is in the fourth quadrant that means we are our bearing is right. So next from the C point if you see, C that is uh, the fourth bearing it is 308 degrees 15 minutes. So it should be in the fourth quadrant. Whereas if you check the D, the D for back bearing from D you are going to the fourth bearing that is 198 degrees. Yes, it is right that is 180, 198 degrees. Whereas the back bearing is 133 degrees that means it comes in the second quadrant so our traverse is correct finally it is closing so the traverse should always be closed it is called as a closed traverse whereas the first and the last point are connected to each other so here you can see it is 198 degrees 0 minutes whereas the fourth bearing of D is back sorry it's a back bearing it is 133 degrees 0 minutes whereas c from c to d the fourth bearing is 308 degrees whereas the back bearing is 243 degrees which lies in the third quadrant this is the third quadrant 243 degrees 45 minutes so this is how the fore bearing and the back bearing has been plotted. So from D to A this is the fore bearing, from D to C is the back bearing. So just have an indication of a back bearing. A. From A you are going to go to the B point that is the fore bearing and B this is the back bearing, B A is the back bearing. So each line if you observe each line that is each survey line will have a four bearing and a back bearing. Each survey line will have a four bearing and a back bearing. So let's see now the included angle you are going to find that is angle A, angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D. So let's see the included angle or the internal angle is nothing but the included angle summation of all the internal angle will give the included angle. So angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D. So let's say how will you find the angle A? Whatever data you have from that itself, you can find out the angle. So now I have the four bearing over here. So four bearing of what? Four bearing of AB I have. AB. From this four bearing, if I subtract the back bearing over here, that is back bearing of DA. That means 122 degrees 15 minutes minus of 15 degrees 30 minutes so let's have a calculation over here 122 degrees 15 minutes minus of 15 degrees 30 minutes so it is 106 degrees 45 minutes 
so next angle b if you have so angle b i have overall angle that is 302 degrees okay now overall uh, whole circle angle it is 360 degrees i try to subtract from 360 degrees minus of 302 degrees 15 minutes and then have a addition of 66 degrees so that i will get the angle b so let's see 360 degrees minus 302 degrees 15 minutes plus 66 degrees okay you get the value of 123 degrees 45 minutes so next angle c for angle c you have the bearing that is 243 degrees the back bearing and the four bearing is given to you as 308 degrees so from the 308 degrees if you subtract the back bearing you can easily find out the angle c so that is what 308 degrees 15 minutes minus of 243 degrees 45 minutes so whatever the four bearing and the back bearing is there whatever the available data is there from that itself you can find out the angle individual angles 308 degrees 15 minutes minus of 243 degrees 45 minutes so that works out to be 64 degrees 30 minutes so next angle d if you see the angle d this is the overall bearing that is 198 degrees the back the four bearing 180 98 degrees minus of the back bearing 133 degrees 0 minutes so let's see how much it works out to be 198 degrees so it is 65 degrees 0 minutes so all the summation of included angle summation of included angle comes out to be the addition of all this 106 degrees 45 minutes plus 123 degrees 45 minutes plus 64 degrees 30 minutes plus 65 degrees yes it works out to be 360 degrees 0 minutes so this is how the summation of included angle will be worked out so this is how the traverse has to be drawn when we actually perform it on the field so these are the mcqs the bearings of the lines ab and bc are 146 degrees 30 minutes and 68 degrees 30 minutes so you can easily find out the angle over here yes this is the right answer for that these are the references thank you